Kobe, there's so many gambles in life, but a sure bet is dinner at Carbone in Las Vegas. This yeah. place is legit. Yeah, man, I'm excited about it. And you know what is a gamble, though? Playing against this guy, Derek Anglin, ex-Golden Knight. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. The first year of the Golden Knights' existence, they go right to the Stanley Cup Finals. So the bar is set so high. What is it like managing expectations inside the club, or is everybody just as optimistic as they were in that 17-18 season? I don't think anyone's seen that. Coming. Yeah, we, it was <laughs> yeah. Right? Like it was uh, by Christmas time. Everyone's uh, we got to keep winning because no one wanted to leave because the city is amazing. It's easy to get around. You know, everything about the city is great. So, but then you go to the finals and then Bill's five-year plan goes to a two-year plan. I think with the moves they've made this year and the guys they've signed, uh, you know, I think if they come up short of the Stanley Cup or the, the finals, it's going to be a bust in their minds. Mm -hmm. I was going to come out of retirement to try to play here. That's how awesome <laughs> how it is. How did that work out? I tell you, my, my bike is covered in dust. <laughs> Let's talk about an immediate plan. The experience here at Carbone. Are you yeah. hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Let's yeah. see. Three beauties, great food. <laughs> Let's do it. Good evening, gentlemen. How are we doing tonight? Excellent. Welcome into Carbone. I have put together a meal for you tonight. We're going to do our Caesar all is easy, which is our table side Caesar. Uh, we're going to do an octopus pizza aiola. It's an eight hour slow cooked Spanish octopus, little fingerling potatoes, garlic chips, little agrodolce. Uh, then the tuna calabrese. It's a raw big eye tuna. We're going to do a Japanese eggplant puree and top it with a little collab and chip. Um, after that, we're going to move into our macaroni, which is what we're famous for. Uh, we're going to do our world famous spicy rigatoni. We're gonna do Mario's meatballs in the middle, and of course the lobster ravioli with the lobster buttercream. For entrees, we're gonna do our veal parmesan. It's a pounded veal chop, a little panko breadcrumb, tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella, potatoes louis, which are my favorite. These are roasted duck fat potatoes, a little garlic and parsley, uh, then the squash agrodolce. Um, this is gonna be a roasted acorn squash, a little brown butter, mascarpone, toasted papitas. I'm salivating. I don't even that know sounds, what to say. <laughs> that sounds incredible, man. <laughs> I've heard in hockey circles that the Golden Knights is the team that like, low key, like everybody wants to play for. Have you heard that? And why do you think that is? You know, you have the strip, you have the best food in the world all wrapped up in one entertainment. The atmosphere in the rink is, you know, it's a show inside of the hockey game. Ooh, and ooh, the rigatoni is unrivaled. You should name him Meatballs after Derek. Because <laughs> of the way when he played. I never ran around and <laughs> went after anyone. This is I, just did, I just had to answer the bell when I had, I protected guys like, like you. Me, I know. <laughs> that went yeah, ran around like idiots <laughs> and then I had to come and fix it. They should everybody. maybe name the meatballs after me, okay? Yeah. I'll take that back. <laughs> Nick, so what do we got here, bro? So this is a roasted acorn squash. I'm gonna do a little brown butter, fried sage, toasted pumpkin seed, and a mascarpone in there. Those are Yukon gold potatoes roasted in a little duck fat, garlic, and parsley. Chef, I speak for this table yeah. when I say the food is yes. awesome. Tell us about uh, <laughs> like the Vegas flu. Well, you've played guilty, obviously. In the minors, what does playing guilty mean? It means you go out the night before. Have a few of these? Yeah, have a few too many out. cocktails. It doesn't mean you have to be out late, but you have a few too many. and. Yeah. Uh, the next morning, you're feeling it. Yeah, you guys were the perfect poison for yeah. the Vegas flu. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, let me give you some yeah. of these potatoes. All right. So obviously, being from here, playing in Calgary and Pittsburgh, and this is like obviously like the team you identify through your career, probably. The speech from October one, probably gonna go down as the top thing in my career. We are Vegas strong. That. Going as far as we did was pretty amazing. You know, you still don't forget the Pittsburgh days and stuff. You know. Yeah. Gave you your shot, and it's great. It's a great city, great, great sports town. So it was a lot of fun. I'm not sure that I'm gonna forget this meal because this is like it's climbing up my top ten. Yeah, I, it's getting close to Mount Rushmore because yeah. we've all had like mm -hmm. the Mount Rushmore of our like favorite. Buddy, meals. this is what I expected of Carbone. It is. I did. I had a, a high expectations. And it's meeting them. It's kind of like the way people think about the Golden Knights. <laughs> they do have high expectations right now. The desserts are immaculate. Oof. The food was immaculate. Derek England, beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks great career. Me. Congrats on everything. Post career here in Vegas, what you're doing. Awesome. Man, what a way to end 72 hours in Las Vegas, Kobe Armstrong. Fellas, let's treat ourselves, not cheat ourselves. Let's get it. Oh yeah. <laughs>